Good morning, everyone. Don't worry, it's not, that, that's not true. That is, that is not true. You still have time. I actually have to change the number on that because we are about to shoot a, a Christmas countdown video. We've, we've been doing these for a while now. We do these little like 15 second, 30 second, short form videos where we, we dance around and count down the days till Christmas. So I'm gonna change the number on that. I don't know if you know this, but we have a YouTube Shorts channel. It's, a, a, it's our channel that's just Shorts. And so we'll post it there and we're also gonna post it on our TikTok. So check those out and follow us because then you, you can see every day that we're counting down till Christmas. You can count down with us, which is fun. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Three, four. One, two, 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 yeah, Are you still true. using this? Yeah. Okay. All right. I think Parker made, made himself iced coffee. Ooh, I have this tea mug. I think this fits in the dishwasher. So, dishwasher's almost full at least. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Get it. Okay. I think we're gonna get this. We're gonna get it. Christopher and I are planning out our weekly meal plan and all of our shopping that we'll need for the week. Ideally, this only happens weekly, but I feel like we end up running to the store like once or twice in addition. While doing this, one thing I like to do is I like to go around and ask each kid, is there anything that you really wanna see on the menu this week? And is there anything that you like really don't wanna see? <laughs> They're not guaranteed anything, but I really like to aim for some favorites. It makes life easier for everybody. And then I'm a pescatarian, which means that I don't eat meat, but I do eat like dairy products and I will eat fish and like aquatic products. Everybody else in the family eats meat, except I think Teddy hasn't yet. So we're gonna bring you along with us today while I am prepping this meal plan and then also while we go shopping. Okay, so Parker, is there anything you really want for a meal this week? Annie's mac and cheese. Okay. The cups or the box? The cups. I okay. like the cups. I don't know. These little pumpkin cookie things. Oh, the pumpkin breakfast cookies. Yes. Yeah, those are good. And then that was something we found on TikTok. Yes. I didn't really like the cheese and gelatas. Oh, that's very much requested by other kids. So that's gonna be on the menu this week. I'm sorry. The cheese um, rice. The cheese tuna rice. The you want that or you don't want it? I really want it. Okay, so that's been a really big hit lately. It's an Annie's brand um, cheesy rice and we add tuna to it. It's so good. I also really like the gnocchi. Gnocchi. So we've been doing gnocchi bakes lately, which is gnocchi with cheese and sauce on top and it's just in a casserole dish and pretty easy. And everybody really likes that, I think. And I also really like the pizza. Like, we made homemade pizza. The sure. kind that we just made this week? Mm-hmm. And also, I really liked vegetarian pigs in a blanket. So we take like a Pillsbury croissant dough and put sausages and stuff in that, and that's how we do that. And these are all like kind of mains, and then we do other things. Mm-hmm. All right, thank you, Parker. You're welcome. Um, I really like cheese enchiladas. Okay, cheese enchiladas. And tamales. Oh, I love tamales. tamales. I love tamales so much. Okay, cheese enchiladas and tamales are Bailey's request. Anything you really don't want? Um, polenta. polenta. It's a weird texture. Yes. All right, no polenta. Any other requests for the week? I would love lasagna. Lasagna? Okay. So everybody makes kind of requests and things they don't necessarily want, and there are no guarantees. I also really like, so we got this giant thing of capers. Okay. I love those on pizza, like baked into the pizza, because I feel like if I put them on top of the pizza, they're cold. Then, the, yes, they're cold. And they're kind of like a different flavor almost. And yeah, they're all like sliding off. 
And we did bake them into our pizza last week. However, we had to save some slices of pizza for Parker because he was still at gymnastics. And I think Bailey wanted more and more slices of pizza with capers. Like she had some. And Luke's And then she wanted more. Now. Yeah. So next time we'll do the whole sheet. Yes. <laughs> Cheese. Yes. Capers. And what we did to make that was we just used, again, a Pillsbury pizza crust that we laid out and then made our own pizza this week. And we do that differently, different times, but we always aim to have a pizza movie night once a week. It's just kind of our special thing. I love pizza movie night. Me too. Okay, next up, Duncan! Is there anything you really want on the menu this week? And sandwiches. Okay. And pancakes. Okay. And what do you like with your pancakes? Do you like eggs or sausage or bacon or what? Bacon, fresh, good, and uh, and vegetarian um, sausage. Okay, fresh, good, and vegetarian sausage. Do you like the circle patties or do you mean the links? Links. Yeah, I like those a lot too. I like uh, orange, oranges. Okay. Oranges. Like the little tangerines that you can peel, the cuties. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what else? And I don't know. No? Hmm. Think strawberries? Blueberries? Cucumbers. Cucumbers? Like a cucumber salad? Uh, no. Regular cucumbers. Okay, so you want like sliced cucumbers? Yeah. A uh, smoothie with cucumbers in it. Okay. <laughs> and some cucumbers cut up. Okay. Cucumber. You're my cucumber dude. I love cucumber salad. It's like vinegar and salt and pepper on it. It's good. All right. I love you. What would you like for food this week? <laughs> blueberry waffles. I had a feeling there was some gonna be a blueberry. Blueberry waffles for your birthday. A blueberry waffles like your birthday? Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything you do not want to have for food this week? Yeah. Yeah. Breakfast today. My birthday. You want your birthday? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, food. Birthday. Food like at your birthday? Yeah. Lukey, is there any food that you do not want this week? Blueberries. You don't want blueberries? No blueberries? Blueberries. You want no blueberries or yes blueberries? Yes blueberries. Okay, is there any blueberries. food that you do not, yeah, we've got blueberries right here. Always at the ready. Oh. Yeah, any food that you don't want? Uh, spinach. Spinach? Spinach. No spinach? No spinach. Spinach. Okay. Well, what are you gonna have for a vegetable? You want a cucumber? Cu no cucumber. No cucumber. Hmm. Do you want some kale? No. You want broccoli? No. Cauliflower? No. Carrots? Carrots. Yes, carrots? No. Blueberries. <laughs> Just blueberries. Just blueberries. Hmm. What if we put the blueberries together with the spinach and made a smoothie? Smoothie! Yeah. Birthday. Smoothie! Like your birthday. Mwah. I love you. Thank you for helping you me. You love me. So one of my major mom strategies is smoothies. I personally love making smoothies because you can just kind of put anything that you have into that smoothie and grind it up and it'll be delicious. And we can get a lot of nutrients packed into them and then I don't have to worry so much about like forcing something that somebody doesn't want to eat. Not that I don't think vegetables are delicious and should be, you know, advertised as such to the kids. But smoothies are really, really easy and you can get so many vegetables in them. So we go heavy on the fruits and the vegetables in our smoothies. I think we should have hash browns. Okay. Jacob's saying what food he wants. Oh, we go So he ja blueberries. He, oh, I, I Jacob want wants blueberries. blueberries. Yes. Luke, Luke knew exactly what you wanted, Jacob. Yep, that's, Thank you, Luke. It's definitely what I wanted. It's definitely not what you wanted. It's what I wanted. He's just looking out for you, Jacob. Mm -hmm. Jacob, what else do you want in addition to that? Oh, I love you. Yeah, we are. 
I think I do want enchiladas. Okay, cheese enchiladas, much requested. Yep. Much requested. Is there anything that you know you don't want? Um, yogurt and Cheerios. <laughs> I, I don't like oh, faithful. I don't like the Cheerios in it. Okay, you want yogurt and granola? Sure. Yeah, that'll work. We should also put on the list bagels. Okay. Maybe crepes if we can. Crepes for the win. Mm, that's that's a big endeavor, maybe. Yeah. Maybe not this week. And mac and cheese? I like mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is good. We probably are doing cheese enchiladas at some point, smoothies a lot. Parker was asking for the pumpkin breakfast cookies. It's a lot, but um, we're gonna need to get um, the vanilla and powder. We don't have that? No, we don't. I just double last of it. Okay. Maybe like the oatmeal with the apples in it, the one that I make. Mm, okay, maybe. So we have a lot of ideas to work off of, and now I'm gonna go kind of look at what we already have in our pantry, because I think a lot of the requests, we already have like a good amount of those ingredients for, and I will make whatever makes the most sense with the ingredients that we have mixed with the, the desires of the people. So each week I fill out a weekly meal planner that looks like this. Here are some recent ones. I like to do this with my most recent meal plans nearby because they give me ideas and like remind me about what has worked well lately and what hasn't worked well. And they also show me what ingredients we might have extra of. So it's helpful because I can go like, oh yeah, we didn't use all the rice that day or whatever. So I like to have my own meal plans near me. I'm sitting next to the pantry and the fridge is over on the other side and Christopher's here True. <laughs> and he's gonna help me this is how I like to do it where I kind of write things down and then say hey do we have this we have this or like what do I need to shop for um, sometimes a kid will help with this part sometimes I do it on my own but I like to be able to say it and then have somebody look because it's just very helpful we have requests for blueberry pancakes Christopher um, I think we don't have blueberries or pancakes Okay. And didn't you request blueberry waffles? Because we might have those. Um, I think I got a blueberry pancake request and maybe also a blueberry waffle. Oh, Do we have blueberry waffles? Uh, let me check that. We don't need to buy pancake mix. I don't always, but sometimes to make it easy, I do. We always need fresh blueberries, so I'll put those on the list. I think we have a big bag of frozen if the kids didn't go through okay. it this week. We have frozen blueberries. We have two boxes of waffles. All right. And the pancake mix just really streamlines stuff. Like if I can just add water, it's just a lot easier in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> I was just saying all that. It's perfect. We have uh, Beyond Meatballs. And I noticed that we had some pasta in here, so that could be a meal. Okay. And maybe not something somebody requested. No, we'll do a pasta, a pasta and, and meatballs night. Pasta and Beyond Meatballs. Yeah, there's some good pasta in here. They really liked that last one. Yeah, did. they did. And then uh, I've gotten a lot of requests for cheese enchiladas. Oh wow! Well, we definitely need more cheese. We have a lot of tortillas. Okay. It's pretty big. So That's cheese. a lot of tortillas, right? That's enough. Yeah. And we're gonna need enchilada sauce. And then I noticed we have some spinach and other things in the garage fridge too. But I don't know if we need more. Should I put one more thing of spinach? Sure, I can sneak it in the pasta and stuff. Yeah, that's what I figured. From the kids' perspective, I feel like the request is all like, <laughs> like pasta and cheese, or some version of like flour and cheese, and that's kind of and blueberries <laughs> and blueberries. And we do have that as a base, but then we'll often, you know, add sausage or veggie sausage or bacon or veggie bacon or eggs, especially in the morning. And then in the evening, we'll throw in like cans of tuna or again with like some sort of sausage or veggie sausage or veggie meatball is what we're looking at this week. We just add to stuff. So they have like a base that we know that they like and then we kind of put little things in there. So I don't know if you guys have seen this, but there is this thing that you can do where you take a, an entire pallet of the King's Hawaiian bread and just cut across it and you fill that up with ham and cheese and mayonnaise and mustard like all at once like boom 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 and then cut it up and cut it up and you can actually put it back into the package and freeze it or just disperse it right away 
And the kids have been loving that for like lunches or just a snack or like take with them somewhere. So that's been a really nice little parent hack for us lately. If you haven't seen it, I think I might film a video at some point, probably for shorts or TikTok or something. So tell me if you wanna see how that's made. It is really cool and it's been very helpful for us lately. And then I also really like to prep our peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So I'll take an entire loaf of bread, make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. You have to put them in individually into wrappers and then you can put that back into the loaf container and then you can put that in the freezer and they can just take them kind of like uncrustables. I think Bailey loves hers like frozen, <laughs> but it also defrosts really quickly and you can't tell that it's been frozen and everybody really likes them. Like I haven't had any complaints at all. So that's been really helpful for us. Yes, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are fast and easy to make, but they like them cold. Like they, I think they like it on like hot days because we're in California, it gets hot, but it's also like really helpful when we're like, oh my gosh, we just have to run or we've got to go to the park or like, one kid's still hungry after having lunch already. It's like, oh, just go get a peanut butter and jelly sandwich they're already made. So I love to do that. I've been doing that, I think, since Bailey and Jacob were tiny. We also have a variety of snacks that come in through monthly snack boxes that we get for the kids. I really like to give them like independence with snacking. So they have their own like lunch bags and then each month they get snack boxes that they fill their lunch bags with. And I can just say, hey, like grab something out of your lunch box throughout the month. And they get a lot of those things. So. If anything, right now we're kind of dealing with overflow. We have a lot of snacks right now, so I don't think I need to buy much this week. Okay, I think that this is good. I'm gonna add some things like baby food pouches and we are also low on toilet paper and paper towels. Christopher and I are going to take Teddy and Luke with us to my favorite discount grocery store and um, the older kids are gonna stay home and hopefully just hang out and like have some relaxed time. I've got my shopping list, I've got my menu, and it's time to go. I wanted to show you my freezer really quick. I, I need a glove. You have a glove? Yeah. So thankfully we already have hash browns and these meatballs and all kinds of things. I got these at the discount grocery store. They're daily harvest things, and I used to get daily harvest. I really like daily harvest, um, but I got these at a discount. It was like a really good find. And then these are the ham and cheese sandwiches. I really like to prep those sandwiches, the peanut butter and jellies or the ham sandwiches, and prep extra whenever I can. So I've actually already made myself like a sleeve of those, which is great. So I feel like this week we actually have a lot of supplies to make almost the whole week's meals, which is great. We do have to do a lot of shopping. It will fill like an entire grocery cart and be ridiculous, but that's still pretty good for us. So that's great. Our family is really big and shopping for us can get ridiculous. Blueberry store. Blueberry store. What blueberries? Hmm, where are the blueberries? Looks like they're somewhere else today. Maybe they're in the back. Should we go find them? Hey. So we are at one of my favorite places. This is the, I can never, I always call it, I always call it the discount grocery store because I can never remember the name of it, but it's Blueberry Grocery store. Outlet Bargain Blueberry Market. Store. Or Blueberry Store. And this is like my favorite place. It is so much fun. There are so many fun things you can find, so many great deals. I love it here. This is like my favorite place. It's so much fun and we're going shopping. New Franks Red Hot container. I've never seen it like this. Are you shopping? Look what I just found. Blueberry. It's blueberry dressing. You can dip carrots in this and other things. You want to try it? Yummy. Blueberry. on raspberries. Do you see the baby carrots? Baby carrots. You want some baby carrots? Yeah. You want baby carrots? I can cook them up for you. Do you want baby carrots? Mmm. Mm. Baby carrots? 
Are you kissing the baby carrots? Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. You want to help me in the basket? Oh, thank you. I got this protein powder to add into our smoothies, which is great. And I even found this PB2 today. I'm excited about that. A lot of fun things today. I love the store. A blueberry store. The blueberry store. I love this store because things are always changing and they're like, it's like a treasure hunt. Like you find treasures on occasion. And then the sad part about it is sometimes they don't have the thing like that you got the week before that was amazing. So that's the hard part. But otherwise, this place is amazing. I love it. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? This is waffles. Yeah, those waffles. Yeah. We had to do it. Yeah. We filled this cart completely all the way to the tippity top. <laughs> so now we have a second cart going. Huh, Teddy? Second cart? Yeah. Yeah. A cart. Should we put it in the cart? Oh, you're gonna eat it right here? We are back home now and we are uh, working on the last little bit of stuff getting put away. I'm ready for bed. Oh, look at you. Are you ready for bed? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Are these new pajamas? Yeah. I like them. Really? I like those. Gymnastics. What? Oh, you have gymnastics clothes underneath those clothes? Yeah. Wow, you're ready for anything. Part of putting the groceries away is assembling sandwiches to be frozen. And one of my tips when you have toddlers or babies and you're doing this is to make at least one or two of the sandwiches cut up into quarters. Because when they're frozen, it can sometimes be a little bit more difficult to portion out or you only need to like grab a little bit and they're frozen, you've gotta grab the whole thing. So I always make sure to prep some that will definitely be going to Teddy or Luke because they don't always eat a whole sandwich. Here's my station right here. Just making up some peanut butter and jelly. You want to go back to the blueberry store? Yeah. The blueberry, we, we just left the blueberry store. Is it good? All right, now this whole loaf is made up into sandwiches and I can stick it in the freezer. Pretty sweet. Hi. Hi. Let's talk about what we learned today. We learned that you have a few more days till Christmas. We learned that Jacob's number one most requested item for the menu is blueberries. And Luke will tell you the same thing. Right, Luke? Yeah, bye. And finally we learned Jessica can't remember the name of her favorite store. But Luke can. What's the name of the store? The blueberry store. The blueberry store. And the 